theorem. Let's let xi like 1, 2, and so on up to n be iid random variables. Does anybody know what iid stands for? What does it stand for? Independent. It stands for independent and identically distributed. something being less than epsilon for any epsilon greater than zero, immediately you should recognize this as the weak law of large numbers. But what do we have here? This seems to have taken the rule of expected value of x, and this appears to have taken the rule of sample mean. <coughs> so how do we reconcile this? How do we actually translate this into the weak law of large numbers? Well, as follows. So, proof. So, what is the drug probability of x1 up to xn? So, remember, these guys are iid. So, how do I express this? What's a way to simplify this? Product. Product. So um, I know that if, uh, if the elements of a joint distribution are independent, I can break them up like this into their individual marginal probabilities. But furthermore, so this is the independent part. Actually, uh, it's a, this is the independent part. The, the identically distributed part is that these p's are all the same. So, 
I'm almost to the point where I had that object on the left in the theorem, in the statement of the theorem. The only thing I have left is to do this negative. Actually, what I have um, what I have left to do is negative one over n. So I can put negative one over n here. Negative one over n carries through here. What I'm going to do, okay, one over n. That looks like something that should be associated with the sample mean because uh, what I do in the sample mean is I take a sum and then I divide by n. So I'm going to take this minus and put it inside the log. How do I do that? I take the reciprocal. So this is equal to 1 over n, sum i equal to 1 to n, log 1 over px, pxi. Okay, so that's very interesting. Let's, um, now I appear to have something like the sample mean over log 1 over pxi. So if I were to make a substitution and say qi equals log 1 over pxi. So for one thing, because xi is iid, qi must be iid, because basically I'm doing the same thing to each xi. Uh, so the qi must be independent, because I'm, each one is only a function of, x, of xi. And they must be identically distributed because I'm doing the same thing to each one. So therefore, um, I could say 1 over n sum from i equals 1 to n of qi. And this would be the sample mean of q. So this thing on the left here is the sample mean of qn, of, of q. calculate entropy a couple of classes ago. 